Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Walter, a scientist here at the Ontario Science Centre, and we're here with three amazing young inventors. Hi, I'm Arushi. Hi, I'm Vinny. Hey, I'm Anoush. Arushi, tell us about your project. It's all about planetary defense against asteroids. Because if an asteroid were on collision court with the Earth, um, that would be a really big problem. That would be a really big problem. Was there a particular asteroid that caught your interest in terms of its properties? I focused on an asteroid called Didymos. So NASA launched a huge spacecraft to actually impact the moonlight of this asteroid head on to try and change its orbital period as like a planetary defense test. Oh. It was indeed successful in moving the asteroid. Okay, let's move on to our next invention. My invention, Dermascan, can analyze pictures of your skin and check for any problematic spots that needs to be checked by a doctor. The whole model is aimed for simplicity and accessibility. So basically, you go onto this website and you take an image with your phone camera. This model seems pretty cool. Like, you're able to get with above 90% confidence. Have you been able to test this on people? It's like about 100 people, and it came out to be about the same accuracy as the predicted one. That's terrific, and of course, that's the backbone of science, right? Doing the testing, doing the clinical trials. That's amazing to get that verification that it works. Great. Okay, now, you're next, my friend. My invention is Enerspike. I created a system inspired by the brain. It helps devices like pacemakers, in-ear implants, and brain implants use less electricity. I took a data set of 105 patients. What's cool about data like this is you could transform it into frequencies. And when you go into like frequency analysis, you break it down into specific ranges that are relevant to the task at hand. When we're talking about implants, right, and we're talking about devices deep in your brain that you would need to replace them with surgery, you want to reduce the amount of data that you're actually processing because the amount of power you're using also scales by the amount of data. Well, my inventor colleagues, it's important that we have a chance to maybe chat a little further, talk and discuss. Sounds good. Perfect. Scientists collaborate, right? They, they work together. What really comes down when you're making a project is how you can combine the knowledge you've learned when doing one project and a totally different subject right. and actually combine it to make your project. Think of someone maybe younger than yourself who's, who wants to become an inventor. Do you have any advice? My advice would be to just go for it. Whatever you feel curious about, whatever you want to explore or there might be a problem that you want to solve. The fact that you are passionate about something is something that you should truly hold dearly to your heart. And try to find a challenge that you're willing to solve. And this challenge, it doesn't have to be a small challenge. Actually, think as big as you can, because even if you'll fail, you'll fail at a higher level. Thank you so much for this time. I appreciate it. What do you have in store in the future? What are you planning to do next? I am really interested in the fields of biology and more biochemistry. And I'm planning to actually join a startup uh, next year as a founding engineer to work on training neurons to control robotics. I hope to pursue like hardware and software engineering and also go into astrophysics at university. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate you visiting the Ontario Science Centre, sharing your inventions with us. It's amazing. Young inventors like you are the future of science. Oh, have you guys seen this yet? No.